X, 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 minus, 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 one, 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 one. Tonight, Something for Nothing by Robert Sheckley. I woke up when I thought I heard a voice. But I must have been mistaken because there was no one in my room. There was the same network of cracks and the muddy yellow ceiling and the same water dripping slowly and mournfully through from the roof. I'd seen it a hundred times before. The worst room in a cheap hotel. But then, when I swung my feet onto the floor, I saw it. It was a machine on the floor. It hadn't been there when I went to sleep the night before. It was about three feet square, and it was humming softly. The crackled gray surface was featureless, except for a red button in one corner and a brass plate in the center. I leaned in closer and read the marking. Class A Utilizer. Series AA1256432. Warning, this machine should be used only by Class A ratings. Hey, where did you come from? A utilizer, huh? What do you utilize? No switches, no knobs, just one red button. Okay, we'll give it a try. Here goes the button. All right, what happens now? A little green men drop from the ceiling? Okay, we'll push it again. Come on, do something. Because I'll have to pawn it. Unless Charlie will give me a dollar for the metal for junk. <clears throat> Boy, it's heavy. Can't even get the corner off the floor. They should have sent me somebody to help. Where do you want it, Mac? Hey, where did you come from? Come on, come on. We haven't got all day. Where do you want it? Lucky it's one of the small ones. The big model's up roots to get a grip on. Who are you? Moving man. What do I look like? Queen of the May? But, 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 where did you come from? You just appeared in the room. What are you doing here? I'm from the Power Vinyl Movers Incorporated, and I came because you wanted movers, that's why. Now, where do you want it? Oh, well, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I, uh, uh, look, you go away. I'll call for you later. Okay, Mac, it's your problem. <laughs> Utilizer, huh? Utilizer. Well, I don't know where you came from, but I know what you are. You're a wishing machine. I suppose most people would be shocked if a wishing machine suddenly showed up in their room. But not me. Most of my life has been spent wishing, hoping, praying that something marvelous would happen to me. In high school, I dreamed of waking up some morning with an ability to know my homework without having to do it. In the army, I used to wish for some witch to change my orders, put me in charge of the day room instead of forcing me to do close order drill like everyone else. Out of the army, I avoided work. You see, I'm kind of psychologically unsuited for it. I just drifted around hoping some fabulously wealthy person would for some reason change their will and leave me everything. I never really expected anything to happen, but now it did. All right, machine, let's go. I'd like a thousand dollars in small unmarked bills. There it is. How about that? Fives, tens. They're all dirty, just perfect. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll get the machine out of New York. Maybe upstate someplace where I won't be bothered by nosy neighbors. I've got a lot of problems on the income tax with this sort of thing. Well, maybe I get organized and I'll go to Central America. Hey, what's happening? There's a hole opening up in the wall. What? Somebody's trying to get through to me. The owner of the machine, he's trying to get it back. That hole's getting bigger. Hey, 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 utilizer. Protect me. Sanisar Leak, Temporal Wall Protection Service. What can I do for you? That man coming through the wall, get rid of him. Get rid of him. He's almost through. Oh, take it easy now. There's plenty of time. Let me see, where did I put that unit? Oh. There's his head! Wait a minute, wait a minute! You don't understand! Oh, wait! Ah! Well, that takes care of him. Anything else? Did you kill him? Of course not. I just veered him back through his glomach. He won't try that way again. 
Well, you mean he'll try some other way? It's possible. He could attempt a microtransfer or even animation. Say, um, this is your utilizer, isn't it? Uh, of course. <laughs> well, sure it is, of course. Then you're an A rating? Naturally, uh... I wasn't. What'll I be doing with the utilizer? Oh, no offense. Just being friendly. <laughs> well, well, how you A's get around. I suppose you've come back here to do a history book. Well, uh, um, I'm really not permitted to say. Uh, you understand, don't you? Oh, of course. I'll be on my way. One call after another, night and day, night and day. I'd be better off in a quarry. Bye. <laughs> I was alone with the machine with a thousand dollars in small bills scattered around the floor. Those A ratings, whoever they were, had it pretty good. Want something? Just ask for it. Press the button. Well, the next few days marked a great change in my fortunes. With the aid of the power vinyl movers, I took the utilizer to upstate New York. There I bought a medium sized mountain in a neglected corner of the Adirondacks. And once the papers were in my hands, I walked to the center of my properties several miles from the highway with the men from the moving company sweating behind me, carrying the utilizer. On all sides, as far as I could see, were closely spaced forests of birch and pine. The air was sweet and damp. Birds were chirping merrily in the treetops, an occasional squirrel darted by. I always loved nature. This would be the perfect spot to build a large, impressive house with swimming pool, tennis courts, and possibly a small airport. So I pushed the button. Yes, sir. Can I be of service? I want a house. Well, yes, sir, but you really must be more specific. Do you want something classic, like a bungalow, ranch, split level, mansion, castle, or palace? Or primitive, like an igloo or hut? Now, since you're an A, you could have something up to the minute, like a semi-face, an extended view, or a sunken miniature. Oh, uh, I don't know. What do you suggest? A uh, small mansion. They usually start with that. They do? Oh, yes. Later, they move to a warm climate and build a palace. Shall we start immediately? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Fine. Start immediately. I wanted to ask a couple more questions, but I decided against it. Everything was going too smoothly. These people thought I was an A and the true owner of the utilizer. There wasn't any sense in disenchanting them. The rest of the day, I reclined on a couch and drank iced beverages while the Maxim Ulf Construction Company materialized the equipment and put up my house. Well, now, there you are, sir. Modest, low-slung affair with 20 rooms. Built only of the best materials from the design of Meg of Degma. Interior by Toeg, Mueller Swimming Pool, and Formal Gardens by Varium. It's really the latest thing. With your permission, we'll include a complete layout on it in Galactic House and Garden. <laughs> By evening, it was completed, and the small army of workmen packed up their equipment and then vanished. I allowed my chef to prepare a light supper for me, and afterwards, I sat in my cool living room to think the whole thing over. In front of me, humming gently, sat the utilizer. I ordered cigars. <laughs> ah, Havana. I wonder what's behind it all. Of course, it can't be supernatural. There are no demons or devils in this. My house was built by regular, ordinary human beings. They swore and laughed and cursed like human beings. The utilizer was simply a scientific gadget, which worked on principles that I didn't understand or care to understand. Could it have come from another planet? Not likely. They wouldn't have learned English just for me. And so I decided that the utilizer must have come from the Earth's future. But how? Well, accidents will happen. Why couldn't the utilizer have just slipped back into the past and ended up in my room? What a wonderful future it must be. Wishing machines. How marvelously civilized. All a person has to do is think of something, presto, and there it is. Of course, I had to watch my step. There was still the owner and the rest of the A's. They'd probably try to take the machine away from me. A sudden movement caught my eye. I looked up. The utilizer was quivering. As I walked towards it, a faint mist of steam came out of it. Must be overheating. Maybe a bucket of water. 
Then I noticed it was becoming smaller. It was no more than two feet square and shrinking before my eyes. The owner, perhaps the A's, are causing a micro-transfer that Leek had talked about. I had to do something quickly. I pushed the button. Leak Protection Service! Well, now look here. I was on my way to the golf course. Must I be disturbed every do time? Do something. Look at it. It's shrinking. It's getting smaller. It's getting hot. Do something. Well, there's nothing I can do. Temporal wall is all I'm licensed for. You want the micro-control people. Bye. Uh, wait a minute. Come back. It's getting hot. It's getting smaller. I'll press the button again. Micro-control! With whom do you wish to make an appointment? Get me help, fast. Look, the utilizer is growing smaller. They're micro-transferring it. Well, Mr. Vernon is out to lunch. He's disowned himself. I can't reach him. Well, who can you reach? Well, Mr. Veers is in the D continuum, and Mr. Elgis is doing field work in Paleontic Europe. If you're really in a rush, maybe transfer point control. They're a smaller unit. All right, all right, all right. Transfer point control. Ow! Ooh, 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 that button's hot. Mm. I gotta push it. Gotta push that button. Transfer point control. Well, what can I do for you? Uh-huh, just a minute. I'll take care of that. Uh, there you are. Got just in time, didn't I? <laughs> Ain't fancy, but we're all reliable. My hand, my finger, it's burned. Can you do something? Who, me? Nope, not my department. Do one thing, do it well, I always say. Bye. <laughs> my finger, it's burned. Push the button again. Now fix me up. Fix my finger. Ah, that's better. Much better. The owner of the utilizer didn't try anything for at least a week. But I found that my mansion in the woods had been the wrong thing to do. I had to hire a platoon of guards to keep away sightseers, and hunters insisted on camping in my formal gardens. Also, the Bureau of Internal Revenue began to take a lively interest in my affairs. And so, with the aid of the Power Vinyl Movers and the Maxima Ulf Construction Company and the Jankston Instantaneous Travel Bureau, and a good deal of money placed in the proper hands, I moved to a small Central American republic. And there, since the climate was warmer and the income tax non-existent, I built a large, airy, ostentatious palace. It came equipped with the usual accessories. Horses, dogs, peacocks, servants, musicians, bevies of dancing girls, and everything a palace should have. I spent two weeks just exploring the place. One morning, I went up to the utilizer with the vague intention of asking for a sports car, or perhaps a small herd of pedigreed cattle. But as I bent over the gray machine and reached for the red button... Hey, where are you going? Hey, you can't move. You weigh a ton. Hold still so I can push the button. Hey, come back here. It's animation. That's what it is. Hey, come back here. I gotta push the button and get some kind of help. Hey, hey machine, stop. Back into the corner. There we go. There we are. Careful. Can't really get through the door. Side, a little dot. Now, animation control. Wow, that was close. I can't take any more chances. I better do some big wishing now while I still have the chance. All right, pay attention here, machine. I'll have five million dollars, three functioning oil wells, a motion picture studio, perfect health, 25 more dancing girls, uh, immortality, a sports car, and a herd of pedigreed cattle. What is it? What happened? The utilizer. It's gone. Where is it? Wait a minute. What happened to me? I'm gone, too. Where am I? Oh, it's perfectly all right, sir. You can open your eyes now. Where am I? What happened? I was in my room. Where am I now? Where's the utilizer? Oh, it's been returned to stock. Wait a minute. You're the one that tried to come through the wall. You're the owner. Won't you have a chair? Well, I guess it's all over, isn't it? The A's finally caught me. Well, it was glorious while it lasted. Uh, cigarette? No. 
Oh, you got your machine back now. What else do you want? My machine? Well, it's not my machine, sir. Not at all. Oh, don't try to kid me, mister. UA ratings want to protect your monopoly, don't you? My name is Flynn. I'm an agent for the Citizens Protective Union, a non-profit organization whose aim is to protect individuals such as yourself from errors of judgment. You mean you're not one of the A's? Well, you're laboring under a misapprehension, sir. The A rating does not represent a social group as you, you seem to believe. You mean it's not an aristocracy, a hereditary... Oh, goodness, no. An A rating is merely a credit rating. A what? A credit rating. Well, now, you haven't got much time, so I'll make this as brief as possible here. You're uh, quite correct, sir, that this is the future, as you put it. Ours is a decentralized age, sir. Our businesses, industries, and services are, are scattered throughout an appreciable portion of space and time. Now, the utilization corporation that produces the utilizer is an essential link. It provides for the transfer of goods and services from point to point. You understand? Well, yeah, yeah. I get it, I get it. Well, credit, of course, is an automatic privilege. But eventually, well, everything must be paid for. Paid for? Hey, nobody said anything about paying. What are you talking about? Well, now, of course, you certainly couldn't have expected to be provided with all these services uh, without paying. Well, why didn't somebody stop me? They must have known I didn't have a proper rating. Oh, credit ratings are suggestions, not laws. In a civilized world, an individual has the right to his own decision. I'm very sorry, sir. Now, would you care to look at this bill and uh, tell me uh, whether it's an order? Bill? What bill? For all the services that you ordered from the utilizer. Uh, there they are. There's, uh, let's see, there's one palace with accessories, credit 450 million. Services Maxima Alt Movers, 111,000 credits. Uh, 122 dancing girls, 1,222,000. Perfect Health, 8,882,422. Well, there's a whole list of them here. The total comes to slightly less than 18 million credits. Hey, wait a minute. I can't be held to this. The utilizer just dropped into my room by accident. Well, that's the very fact I'm going to bring to their attention. Well, what's going to happen to me? Oh, it's already happened. You've been a judge through bankruptcy court. Good luck. Goodbye. Where am I? What happened? Where is this place? All right, buddy, on your feet. Who, who are you? On your feet, Mac. Here, take this. What is it? It's a pick. And over there is a quarry where you and I and a couple of others are going to cut marble. Marble? Sure. There's always some idiot who wants a palace. You better get working now, boy. I'll hand you a touch of that electronic whip. What do you mean? You'll find out. You can call me Jang. We'll be together for some time. How long? You work it out. The rate is 50 credits a month until your debt is paid off. They can't do this to me. It's all a mistake. It was their fault they left the machine. They let it slip into the past. It's all a mistake. It's no mistake. They're short of labor. They don't want to go recruiting all over for it. Come on. After the first thousand years, you won't mind it. The first thousand years? I won't live that long. Sure you will. You got immortality, didn't you? Oh, that's right. That's right, I wished for it just before they took back the machine. Sure you did. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. That bill that Flynn showed me, I didn't see immortality on that bill. How much did they charge me for immortality? Oh, don't be naive, pal. You should have figured it out by now. Naturally, they give that away for nothing. Now grab your pick. Let's go. 